Hey guys, it's Kelly. I'm back with a process video. This is for Freckled Fawn. I am using the March products that were released and that you can get in a bundle. I just showed you that piece of pattern paper. I did a little bit of prep work off uh, off camera. I put my title on a piece of wax paper because I wanted to go ahead and move that around in the circle and I also took some navy thread and I just punched some holes with my Tim Holtz um, pokey tool. I have no idea what the name of it is but it's one of the Tim Holtz tools and it just allows you to poke holes and um, I just did that off camera and I really like the way that the navy thread helps to pop that circle off of the pattern paper. And it became the perfect place for me to put my title. So I am doing a traveler's notebook on a book challenge for this year. And one of the categories was a young adult book. Now I'll be honest, this is definitely not a book I would have picked up on my own but it turned out to be a delightful read and the title that I'm putting down right now it says there are monsters in the sea that was one of the quotes and um, I was asked to do a book review now I'm not the greatest at that but I don't mind you know telling you a little bit about the book without you know boring people that don't want to hear about it but um this was about you know a teenage girl who had social anxiety and lived on you know the computer she actually um, was the creator of a like a I want to say cartoon I, I know that's not exactly what it is but it was an online story and um, you know she had lots of fans and she basically lived you know she was a different person online than she was um, in real life. Now, how applicable is that? Because, you know, that's just the way our society has become. And, you know, it, she had some good quotes throughout the book, um, but it also talked about a lot of things, you know, like the social anxiety, depression, um, you know, f friendship troubles, you know, with making friends or, you know, just all sorts of things that just, you know, parts of it really did touch home with me with having two teenagers. And um, I will say that I was surprised at how much I ended up enjoying the book. So for this, I didn't necessarily get a picture. I'm going to try to change up my pictures, whether it be just the book cover or maybe me holding the book or me reading the book or, you know, just all sorts of different things. Um, but I'm just kind of just getting into, you know, my groove and trying to figure out what I want to do. So this for this one, I just turned the cover black and white because the cover of this had some greens in it but I really felt like the greens were competing when I printed out the photo in um, color so it's just easier you know when you're trying to make something work to print it in black and white and this actually looked better I thought in black and white and um, you know it's just uh, an easy way to fix a problem when you are working with colors um, or many colors with your pattern papers and embellishments. So I was trying to make this circle that I had stamped work. Um, I had I played around with some of my inks. I'm having issues with my dye inks and I'm not sure what it is. So I was just playing around with this and this one turned out pretty well. But if you have recommendations on colored ink that um, just you know looks nice after you stamp it I don't mind stamping it more than once or twice because I do have um, you know the tool by Tim Holtz that's similar to the Misty um, so I don't mind doing that but I want it to fill in and look nice and I just felt like you know some of my inks don't so if you have ink recommendations please leave them for me so anyway, I was trying to see if I could work that circle onto the page and I just didn't like it. So I'm going to leave it off and, you know, I might see if I can work it on something else. If not, it was just me playing around with the stamps anyway. So for this, I decided that I am going to journal on the tag behind the photo. My traveler's notebook is going to end up being, I think, a little bit thicker. I'm don't think that I will be able to get all of the books that I read for the year in one traveler's notebook, much less, um, I'm not sure, I think there's like 24 different um, topics 
for the challenge that I'm doing, I don't know that I'm going to be able to get all 24 in one notebook, and that's fine. It's totally fine with me, but I like to, you know, layer things. I like to put tags on um, or underneath because, you know, tags just work so well, especially when you're dealing with, you know, books and or you want to put journaling or just, you know, that kind of thing. So I'm just going to go with it and let it be what it turns out to be. But I am going to do a little bit of journaling um, on the tag off camera just because for me to write down what I'm thinking um, on a tag while I'm, you know, while it's being recorded, I can't get that part out of my head when I'm writing. I have no idea why. I can create the page and not be thinking about um, being recorded, but when it comes to writing, I don't know. Um, I'm just full of quirks. What can I say? So for this, I wanted to, I'm trying to also not only document, you know, the books that are in the challenge, but books that I love. And I want to try to, you know, if it's part of the challenge, I want to identify which one. Um, so this, I'm going to just put the YA for the young adult so that I know that this is the one that I have uh, read for that. And, you know, the more that I do this project, the more excited I become. I can't wait um, for the end. And you know, at the end of the year or when I'm finished with the challenge, at least, I'll definitely do a flip through of that traveler's notebook. So I'm going to go ahead and stick things down on paper because I do like the way that um, it's turning out. I used this blue jute and I will tell you, I did not like it. I'm going to rip it out. I'm going to replace it with twine and I put that jute in my to be donated pile um, because it just it shredded it didn't look right and I thought you know what there's no need to put it back in my drawer because I'm not going to use it so yay for me for doing that but anyway that's all I've got today I will um, include the links to the shop in the details section below and I have some close-ups at the end if you want to take a peek at how um, it looks um, up close thanks so much for joining me I hope to see you soon take care bye